Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Physiology Learning. In today's Explain Why series, we are going to understand why physiological blind spot does not hinder the vision. Let's try to see the reason behind it. So first of all, what is physiological blind spot? Whenever you talk about the eyeball, suppose the eyeball is like this. There is one region in the eyeball where the optic nerve exits the eyeball. For example, let's take this region where the optic nerve is exiting the eyeball. Since the optic nerve is exiting this region, there will be absence of photoreceptors in this particular region. The basically this region, there is no rods and cones. If there is no rods and cones, can they form a visual image in this region? The answer is no. They cannot form any visual image on this region. But do we generally see a blind spot whenever we are seeing? The answer is again no, we don't see any blind spot. So how does it happen? We have some region in the retina where the photoreceptors are absent but still we are able to see a complete image in our visual field. The reason behind this whenever we are seeing in a binocular vision like whenever we are using the both eyes what happens is the visual field of one eye is overlapping with the visual field of other eye. So the blind spot of a right eye will be compensated by the left eye visual field. So that is what happens in a binocular vision. But now I will ask you to close your one eye and see. Suppose if I close my one eye and still I will not be able to see a blind spot in my peripheral vision. How does it happen? This is very fascinating because the brain has the tendency to adapt and form and cover up the image in this blind spot region. So that there is no area of no image formation even with an uniocular vision. This is the brain's capability to adapt and fill this small missing visual field created by the blind spot. I hope it's clear. Thank you for listening. We'll see in the next video. Thank you.